uh, after 500, 600 years. So this is uh, spontaneous fermentation without adding any yeast. And that's why, why I believe in. Yeah? I want to keep on making these beers without uh, adding anything. Yeah, because I know Breton Amishis is very popular nowadays. It goes all the world round and round and round. But everybody wants to have some of the goose from Puyutland to add to their brews to make their own kind of lambic. Don't call it lambic. Please respect the heritage that we have from this region. Don't call it lambic. Call it whatever you want. Call it wild ale. Call it whatever you want. But don't call it lambic because lambic belongs to us. Okay. That's right. And, I, and I've already coached them on this, so yeah. they know this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, Pajotaland and this little village, uh, Goik, uh, we have this tradition of making lambic beers uh, a long time. A camp is uh, being a, a farmer in summertime and being a brewer in winter time. Okay? So, as long as it's cold outside, you can make a brew of lambic. Uh, because after the boiling period, you let it cool down by air and it has to be really, really cold. Why? Because everything we need is in the air. The air of this building, the bricks, contains all the microorganisms. It's about this. Ninety 